Welcome to Fabulosity for You, and my name is Angie. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please click the subscribe button and then click the notification bell so when I upload videos, you'll be the first to know. Like this video and make a comment. This channel is about fashion, beauty, and life. And if this is not your first time visiting my channel, well, welcome back, my queens. And welcome to the kings out there that's watching. So today, I'm just doing a chit-chat, just chattering. I just felt like t talking today. And I said, you know what? Let me talk to my queens and kings that are out there watching. So I just got off work and I'm just unwinding. And so I'm sitting in my closet and I'm drinking my green smoothie. So this is day... This is day four. I started on Monday. So this is day four of my challenge that I'm doing. I hope some of you guys decide to do it. If not, hey, I'm, you, you can watch me do it. And so this is day four. So I've been drinking my green smoothie. I've been, uh, I have eaten salads. Now, last Sunday, I had my uncle's birthday. That was last, yeah, my uncle's birthday party. And so, they had chicken. They had salad. So, I still did great. I had made myself a cauliflower pizza today is what I ate. So, as long as you're eating clean, you're okay. If you do this, you don't have to just have all salads. I ate all the salads I bought. And so I decided today I didn't have any salad. I'm going to make a cauliflower pizza. And so that's what I did. I cut it in half and ate the pizza. And then I'm having for my dinner, I'm having a smoothie. So I've been eating my eggs and everything I had on the list. And so I've been using my detox pads. And I'm going to tell you, I've been getting the best sleep. Oh, my God. Those detox pads really makes you have a great, great, great sleep. And so, I've been sleeping very sound. I've been going to bed early for me. I usually stay up to like 1.30 in the morning. And so, I've been going to bed by 11.30, 11 o'clock, 11.30, which for me is early. And even on the weekends, I've been going to bed early on the weekends i'll be staying up to like <laughs> three or four o'clock in the morning and so uh i've been let last weekend i went to bed about probably about one o'clock 12 one o'clock which is still early for me so i've been trying to get my rest and do better at resting and at first i was feeling sluggish i was feeling tired when you eat in low calories you do get tired that's why i say exercising is really you don't really need to exercise and then just on the third day which was yesterday i started feeling energy i started feeling good so today i woke up i had a lot of energy i got a lot of things done i felt really really good so this is a good thing i'm, I'm not gonna weigh in until the 10th day because you, as you drink water and everything, you, you, you carry, hold on to water. And so your weight will go up and down. And then if you see you're not down, you'll get upset about it and, and stop doing it. I learned that a long time ago. I get on the scale once a week, okay? But I'm not going to get on the scale until this challenge is over with. But I'm just letting you guys know I'm feeling good. Uh, I feel motivated. I've been just sleeping good. And this drink will have you sleeping good, have you very regular in the bathroom. And so it's just all around a great detox for your body. And so I'm glad I decided to uh, redo this, to do this competition. Well, not competition, but this challenge for myself. And, and just by 
telling you guys about it keeps me on track, okay? So I'm not going to come on here saying I didn't make it, okay? So I'm, I'm putting my best foot forward. And just by telling you guys, it holds, it, it, it makes me accountable. And, and that's what you want to do, be. You want to be accountable for yourself. So, let's see. The next thing I was going to talk about is I'm so excited. Uh, I said I was having a book coming out in 2023. And I am. I, I'm so proud of myself that I even finished the book. Because I have been working on it for a lot, for, for, for years, okay? But for me life happens you know you have some people in your life that does not keep you motive you know just drains your energy and i had some people in my life i had to let go friends i had to let go that were not positive and were not 100 percent down with angie and i had people that always you know you have a friend that always have a problem always you can't never answer the phone and, and she and that person be happy you know it's always something going and that just drains my energy i'm, I'm somebody that's like to be a helper a solver with people and but that just took my my took me to to my limit so i had to let people go and once i did all of that i started getting in the mind frame of finishing what I need to do and that was that book because to write a book if anybody out there has written a book you you can't just sit down and, and just write you have to be in the mind frame to do it and just even with this challenge when you're ready to get your body together only you can make yourself get your body together you have to be in the right mind frame you have to be tired and sick and tired of your appearance or not being able to wear your outfits you have in your closet and then you just have to say you know what i don't care i'm just i'm just gonna get it done and when you get to that point then you're gonna do it and so that's how i was with writing my book i had to say listen let me quit doing because i used to work a lot of hours at my job i mean i was putting in about 65 hours a week and i'm like oh my god i am so tired and I just didn't have time to do anything. And then when I did have time to do something, I wanted to have a good time. The last thing I wanted to do was sit down and finish a book. But forget all the excuses. Angie just did it and uh, I've completed it. And so now I'm looking for a publisher because the publisher I used for my last book, things have changed out here in the publishing world. And so I'm just trying to find out find a publisher that best fits me and what I and my needs for the book. But I'm excited because it's 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 rolling. The ball is rolling. So stay tuned. I'll keep you updated. Let's see. The next thing I was gonna talk about was I'm gonna do another challenge and um, another challenge, but I'm gonna do another giveaway in March. I said I was going to do a $50 giveaway when I reach 500. So I'm going to put out a video and tell you how you can actually enter the con enter the giveaway. And we can start doing that in March. And whenever we make that 500 mark and you went through the rules, uh, then I will pick a winner. And I'll have all the details for you when I get ready to do that in March. In the meantime, I appreciate everybody that has subscribed. And if you're watching my channel and you have not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Your girl trying to get to 500. The ultimate goal is a thousand, but I want to at least get halfway. Uh, I am putting out a lot of content. I'm consistent with my content. And all I ask you guys, hey, when you do watch, tune in and hit the give me a thumbs up okay and and if you and, and write a comment but anyway so i'm excited about that that's coming up and what else i was going to talk about oh i was looking at tiktok i said i'm randomly talking okay and i seen two videos 
that had my heart like, oh my God. I'm going to talk about one of them today. And it was this girl on there and she was just crying because I really, I don't have a lot of time. I'll I be doing, you know, with me working my a job and life, family, and then the, these little things I like to, you know, my hobbies on the side. Angie be busy. And, I, you know, I'm a caretaker too to my to my parents. So I just have so much going on, but I, I you know, I love what I'm doing right now. I like just talking and talking about fashion and all the things I like to just share these things. And so I really don't look at a lot of videos on TikTok, but I, this girl was crying. I mean, she was, ah! I mean, she was, ah! and I'm not making fun of her. I'm just saying she was like crying hard, screaming. I'm like, oh my God, what is wrong with this young lady? She looked like she was probably in her twenties. And I just said, I just said, let me see what this girl talking about. This is so good. And I'm going to try to make it quick. She said that she was dating this guy for five months. Honey, this man was too good to be true. She got sick. Her mama got sick. He came over, cooked dinner, cooked breakfast, took care of them, went to the store, did it all, okay? She said that she met his children, and she said that they just got along so well. It was just like, oh, my God, she knew she found the one. They even started talking about marriage. He went with her, took her to get, look at some engagement rings. And they stayed in South Carolina. And then all of a sudden, he said he bought a house in Atlanta. And he was going to fix it up and rent it out. So she hadn't heard from him for like 10, 11 days. She called him. He wouldn't answer. So she decided, well, let me go down to this house and surprise him. Now, this was during the Super Bowl weekend. So she said she jumped in her car and she went right on down to Atlanta. She called him and uh, he did answer. And she he was like, well, you sound like you out driving out and about. Where are you going? And she said, Vis I'm going to go visit, come visit my boyfriend. So bottom line is he realized that she was coming to his house. So she said, he said, well, where are you at now? And he, she said, I'm about to stop and pick up my cousin, and we, we're going to be an hour away. And he said, well, that's okay. I'll come to you, so you don't need to be driving an hour away. And she was like, well, you know, I got some people in my family that's having a Super Bowl party, so why don't you come? Yeah, that's great. Come on down. So 7 o'clock at night came. This man was a no-call call and a no-show. About 8 o'clock, he called and said, oh, you know, I was fixing the water and it's just pipes busted. I'm, 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 I got to hire somebody. And she was like, I thought you already hired somebody. Make a long story short, she jumps in her car. Now, she really didn't have his address, okay? But they used to have locations on each other. And so she knew the around, and he turned his location off. So she knew the roundabout place that this man lived. She had a picture of the house, and honey, huh? And her cousin was driving around. They found the house. She goes knocking on the door. <laughs> honey, this woman answers, and she said, "May I help you?" And she was like, "Well, I'm looking for my boyfriend." Da da da. Who your boyfriend? She was like, "Honey, that is my husband of seven years. We just celebrated our seven year anniversary." She called him. She left for a minute. Came back with the gun, okay, pointed the gun at her, and the hu she called her husband, he just ran past her and jumped in the car, she runs, okay, she shot at the girl, but missed, the girl jumps in the car, she was, you know, her cousin was already in the car, she was like, girl, pull up, the guy calls her and says, I don't, what, uh, that's not my wife, I don't know what she talking about, so he lied to her, and she was like, why did you run? He said, because she was going to shoot you and me. That's why. Bottom line is, she broke up with him, and she said her mama had met him. Everybody loved him. She couldn't believe what happened. She said she did have a gut feeling 
something wasn't right when he didn't call her for 10 days or 11 days. He didn't call her while he was in Atlanta. So I'm going to wrap it up. So she's doing this on TikTok. She's, her, her, her videos have gone viral. And she's doing a, a story time. And she's telling everybody in different, many different videos of how this happened to her. She's swapping down. She did not know this man was married. Okay. People, some people are giving her hell on uh, TikTok saying that she knew he was married. But she claims she did not know she was he was married. Her mother then came from out of town to be with her because she's that upset. I mean, it was really sad listening to the story. And so it just it just made me feel like, wow, you know, I, that's why I'm here. I'm here because it's a lot of women. It's even men that go through that. They're being bamboozled, okay? And... You have to stay woke and you have to see the signs because I don't care what that girl said. There was some signs. You know, she didn't say she went to his house. There was some signs that she decided to miss. And uh, uh, one thing I'm going to say, and this is for kings and queens, if somebody seemed too good to be true, they are not true. And I'm going to end it on that. You guys have a beautiful evening and thank you for watching my channel and give me a thumbs up.